good morning. It is Saturday, March 19th, 2022. Um, let's talk business. Let's talk business. Um, before you, before we go on, if you like the information that is being presented to you, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell not- notification, and don't forget to share. I got to get more professional in saying that. Well, let's talk business. You know, we're moving into the busy season. Gas prices are inflating. I'm actually cutting back on business, or I'm trimming. I, I would say I'm shaping, reshaping the business again. Um, meeting new clients. The old clients still stay at the proper price. I'm not. I'm not. I don't see me raising their rates yet. <laughs> we get to 6:30. We get. We get 5:50 mark. Everybody's getting raised up. Unfortunately. That's the way things go. It has a trickle down effect. They say stuff rolls downhill. Um, and this is exactly what's happening. You gotta stay in business. Or, you know, I'll 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 shape it to my benefit. You know, if people don't want to jump up and raise the prices up, okay, we want we're coming out every two weeks. You you choose. Here's the thing, you always give people the option. You have this option or that option. Which one would you like? <laughs> Which was well, my pool gonna be okay? I, it might be, you know. Uh, but I'm not. I'm, let's let's talk about something different. Um, a guy purchased the Groupon. Two hundred and fifty dollars was the price of the Groupon. Came out services pool last week, and I spent two hours last Saturday servicing it. An hour and eight minutes this Saturday. Remember, in business, keep track of your time. I went literally. When I um, when I land on an account, I hit the stopwatch. I'm keeping track of Kim's. I'm keeping track of how long I'm there. I'm keeping track of everything I do. Um, United Parcel Service has a a department called the IE Industrial Engineer Department. And when I was a supervisor there part time, um, you know, I wanted to work with the IE department because they literally timed everything. Um, how long, you know, time equates to money. Anyway, I'm there this week, spending an hour and eight minutes there, noticing that this, this pool is taking up a lot of cams. And mind you, the customer just spent $250. Um, be very observant of your client's spending habits. $250, got a, got a BMW 750Li. It looks like an Li Sport. I don't know how they do it. In BMW languages but uh, a nice Cadillac just bought the house he bought the house I could tell by the condition of certain things that that was wrong with the equipment I asked him I said did you buy this house as is and he said yes bought the has the house as is needed to get a deal on the house um, but anyway come this week I'm spending a lot of time there and I, I told him I said well this is what your first bill is gonna look like in April I have to clean the filters again um, this pool is taking a lot of Kim's. Let us go through April. And I told him, and don't be afraid to do this because here's the thing. I didn't do this in the past. I used to make pools look pristine and dump a lot of time and effort into them. And, and I did come out looking like a rock star. But now that I've gotten older and wiser, I'm not doing those things anymore. I, I'm nipping things directly in the bud. I said, hey, th- this pool has taken it, and I gave him a dollar amount. At $8 a pound of chlorine, it took eight bags, eight of my stash last week. That's That that equates to $64. One tab, I said, you, and I told him, I said, this week I noticed you had some chlorine, and I used three bags. I said, if this, if, if we keep dumping like this, if it's not me that's servicing your pool, whoever is going to service your pool, is a, they're just going to drop you like a hot potato. I didn't tell them, I, I didn't tell them just like that, but I said, you're going to end up spinning your wheels and chasing tail. You're going to spend more money on time, more money on cams. The guy that's servicing your pool is not going to see the profit in the pool, and you're going to end up burning through guys. And I gave him an example that happened to me this week of one of my clients asking me to come back. I said, there's a lot of problems that we see. If, if you got a good pool guy, he's going to foresee a lot of problems. 
he's gonna he's gonna because in his mind he's thinking money he's thinking time he's gonna see a lot of problems and if he's a good pool guy he's gonna present these issues to you just like a doctor you might as well call me a pool doctor you know okay I noticed that uh, you had a lot of sediment you didn't have any dirt where did that sediment come from that means there's a lot of waste and I started just laying it down the scenario and I, and I ended I said your water is not bad but because of the conditions that's happening in the pool, this is what we're gonna, what, what this is what we're gonna run into, you know. And uh, he said, okay, I value your opinion, and uh, if you feel the need, I said, and I don't want you to spend money unnecessarily and jump to that conclusion yet until I do this one last thing. If I continue to see these things going through April and into May, I would like a drain. I'm gonna recommend a drain. And you know what? He was, and I said, this is the price of it, it's six fifty blah 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 and he was like okay if we got to do it let's do it when you when you approach your pools with that confidence of you know uh we, we're just going to attack the problem in a b c and d you have that assurity remember you are the professional and, and you you might not have some people that are willing to to budge and they, they might fight you on it let them go let them go I'm telling you from experience, say, hey, if, if this continues and this is something that you, you're not going to do, I, you know, we're going to have to uh, <laughs> basically end the service. Trust me. I didn't do this 10 years ago. I, I wanted to play nice. Don't play nice. Play necessary. You have an operation to run. You don't want to be charging 150 and the pool is taking 250 in camps. Because, I mean, who's paying for your time then? Keep that in mind. So, um, professionally speaking, be sure about what you recommend without a certain of a doubt. You know, and I know um, if you may not be at that level yet, get with a couple guys. Get with a couple guys that's been in the game for a while. Like me, I've been in the game for a while. Get with a couple guys. Um, hang out with them. Listen to what they talk about. Make sure they know the business back and forth. And, you know, pick up on their jargon. And um, you know, I, I've had, I've had, I've had, I've had the worst of the worst jobs to where I'm able to be like, no, we're not going that route anymore. <laughs> we're we're not this. This is what we need to do. This is what we're gonna do. This is the cost of it. Oh man, I feel. God bless these people. My heart goes out to the homeless people, and, and we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, matter of fact, I, I think I might make my next post about that might make my next post about that uh, but anyway um, have a happy Saturday and um, see you next post I am out